Ah, oh, people, what's up? Oh, it's me again. This is just a quick video. It might actually be long, but I'm going to tell you how to get into retro gaming on a budget. Uh, it's for people that don't want to have to take the time to find, like, a certain type of console or whatever, and they need, like, someone. Uh, the first option, and this is the, uh, the option that's more for, like, people that just want to get a cheap console and play. Um, I recommend like the Retron consoles, anything like that, that just plays those kind of games. Those are pretty good. But if you're like on minimal, like minimal stuff like that, I have a few recommendations for you and I'm going to tell you what I did. Um, so of course there's the Atari flashback consoles and Sega Genesis flashback consoles, which are very good and they help you on a budget because they include a lot of games for those classic systems and they're pretty cheap. Uh, another way is to get Pong consoles. Uh, I call them Pong consoles like plug and play consoles like what I have on display there. Those both work except for that one as you have to like mess with the cord to get the video signal to come in correct. That was actually the first thing I used to play a game I believe. It, I think so. But um, Yeah that's, a, that's um, an option. But if you want uh, more stuff, I would, I, like I'm gonna give you the ultimate way to play like video games from systems, and this is on my thing that I have. Um, PlayStation Two plays PlayStation Two games, obviously. That plays PS Two and PS One. I, I accidentally. Um, so that plays PS Two and PS One games. Uh, Sega Genesis plays Sega Genesis games, uh, Atari plays Atari games, uh, Wii U plays, wait, you know, actually, Xbox plays, uh, Xbox 360, Xbox original, Dreamcast games, uh, some Sega Genesis games, some PC games, uh, it plays a lot of things, um, and then here's the long one, here, oh yeah, Xbox One's a piece of crap, Just only plays Xbox One games, which is stupid, um, so for Wii U, it plays Wii U games, Wii games, uh, N64 games, um, SNES games, NES games, TurboGrafx-16 games, uh, Sega Genesis games, Sega Mega Drive games, arcade games, uh, some other stuff too. That's a lot of stuff though. Um, but the problem with that, like everything that I just mentioned, only certain games are available for them. So, you're limited to what's on there, which is a really unfortunate thing. But hey, if you only need, like, certain games or whatever, uh, you can do this. But if you want to get a huge library of games, I would probably not recommend the, the virtual console. Oh yeah, anybody looking out like virtual console stuff there are certain virtual console games that are only on the Wii and on the Wii U uh, the Wii U is only used for games like there's Duck Hunt uh, what was the other game uh, Street Fighter Tales and 10 a few games like that on uh, Mega Man 6 besides like only use if you like if you need to play those games other games use the Wii virtual console the emulation is much better the sound quality is better the video quality is better Everything about it is better. Better games, more systems to play. Games on, like, Nintendo 64 is just not available on, uh, the Wii U Virtual Console, so just use that. Um, and here's a quick tip. Normally, for Virtual Console, you would use a classic controller, the gamepad, or, like, I'm talking about Wii Virtual Console for now. You would use this thing, like an NES controller. Uh, it, it works, but it, it's not the same thing. So I would recommend if you don't need to just use this if you don't need to get anything else. I would recommend getting the uh holy crap, this thing is a wiry mess though. Um I would recommend getting the what's it called? The Mayflash the Mayflash SNES S F okay, um this is just like some stuff right. But this thing right here uh, is an adapter that hooks into your Wii remote, and, uh, it lets you, you hook in this thing, and it lets you use a Super Nintendo controller, right here, 
and NES controllers. Like, I have one right here. Now, as far as I'm aware, it also works with Famicom, Famicom and Super Famicom controllers, uh, Famiclones, uh, I don't think it works with Sega Genesis, actually, but, um, if you're wondering, like, whoa, that's not the, that's not the thing for, uh, NES, no, it is not, um, that, that is a extra plug-in to an ad extra adapter right here that you use to plug in the NES controller. As far as I'm aware, um, it works with everything that I mentioned. Uh, for NES, there's multiple different things. Uh, the zapper, I don't think that the zapper works. Actually, I think it actually does for, like, one game. Um, so I don't know about the zapper. Power Glove does not work at all. Um, um, I don't, I know that the dog bone controller will work, uh, because it's just, like, a basic controller. Um... But the thing is, and I need, like, I need you to comment if you know, if, um, the NES Advantage and NES Max Turbo Controllers will work with that, considering, uh, give me a second, I just have to unplug this. Here's what the, uh, thing looks like for the NES controller, uh, the controllers, I guess, um, but I'm not sure, is this what it looks like on, uh, the other ones, because here's the uh, plug-in right here. I don't know if that would um, be able to work. I've never seen a uh, NES uh, turbo controller in person, so I can't know that I would have to do some research for it. But if you anybody can just let me know, that would be very nice, because um, I have yet to figure that out. Because I want to get those, but I don't want to get them if they don't if they aren't supported. But um. Well, you know, maybe I'll get them anyway for display. I, I do that sometimes. Like, I would want to get, like, a fake NES just for a display. Um, display, not display. Um, but yeah, that's another thing. That's another way to get in quickly is to get the Mayflash adapter. Uh, that's really good. Uh, if you have a retro game store near you, uh, you could probably just get a console and everything. But if you live in the middle of the freaking... Forest or something. I live in an area that has like, like not. I'm not in the middle of the forest, but in my kind of area, there's no retro game store. Like as far as, I've I've never seen a retro game store, and I'm really surprised because I've been to cities like Pittsburgh, Erie, Clarion, all those places. None of them had a retro game store. Actually, I don't actually know about that. If anybody can uh, tell me if there's any retro game stores in uh, Clarion, Erie, Pittsburgh, um. Titusville, any of the areas like that, I would love to know that because those are the kind of areas that I couldn't go to because we actually don't go there much, but still, I would like to know that. Um, this is like a video of just talking and I also want to ask some questions. So yeah, I was about to say ask questions and I might be in the chief fan, but uh, yeah, there's that. Oh yes, another thing is uh, if you... These are the two game consoles I would recommend if you want to get in retro gaming a lot. Uh, 2DS and uh, Wii U. Why 2DS? Because it um, is the cheapest of the 3DS models. You can play 3DS games on it, DS. Uh, you can play NES games on it as well, but I wouldn't recommend that if you have the Wii U. Um, it also plays, the main thing about it is it plays Game Boy games on it. That's the huge thing about it. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, this actually might be... If you're looking, if you don't need to play the modern games, actually Game Boys don't cost that much anymore. But still, there's the video. I'm dragging it out a bit too long now. But, I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope that these tips help you get into retro gaming without needing to spend, like, hundreds and hundreds of dollars confirming certain things. But, um... Yes, yeah, so these are just a few tips. Um, and my most recommended console for this would be Wii U, and uh, then you can get the accessories that I've mentioned here. Um, so yeah, and this is a really awesome controller. I just love to hold it. I'm gonna go play some anything on NES. So I'll see you all next time. Game review episode is gonna be three or maybe two episodes of tomorrow. So I'll see you next time. Wow.